Question number 161. Under normal conditions in adults, erythropoiesis occurs in and the options are spleen, kidney, red bone marrow and yellow bone marrow. And we know that in humans, erythropoiesis during embryonic development occurs in yolk sac followed by liver and spleen whereas in adults erythropoiesis occurs in red bone marrow so the correct answer to this question is option number three under normal conditions in adults erythropoiesis occurs in red bone marrow whereas option number one and two is an incorrect option and option number four yellow bone marrow is an incorrect option because when rbc count is very low yellow bone marrow converts into red bone marrow in adults so ultimately red bone marrow provides a site for the occurrence of erythropoiesis so the correct answer to this question is option number three let's discuss our next question question number 162 the amount of filtrate formed by the kidneys per minute is 125 ml this is called and the options are renal blood flow glomerular filtration rate urinary output and the last option given is renal plasma flow and we know the correct answer to this question is option number two glomerular filtration rate or gfr gfr or glomerular filtration rate is the amount of filtrate formed per minute which is 125 ml an adult human excretes on an average 1 to 1.5 liters liters of urine per day and this is known as urinary output so this is an incorrect option and option number one renal blood flow and option number four renal plasma flow are incorrect options so the correct answer to this question is option number two let's discuss our next question question number 163 parasympathetic stimulation results in all except now the very first option given is decrease in the rate of heartbeat Second option is decrease in cardiac output. Third option given is decrease in the conduction of action potential in heart muscle fibers. And the last option given is increase in the strength of ventricular contraction. Parasympathetic nerve endings release acetylcholine. Acetylcholine, this inhibitory neurotransmitter decreases heart rate and speed of conduction of action potential in heart muscle fibers thus decreases decrease cardiac output so option number one decrease in the rate of heartbeat is a result of parasympathetic stimulation so this cannot be a correct answer decrease in cardiac output is a resultant of parasympathetic stimulation this cannot be a correct answer third option decrease in conduction of action potential in heart muscle fibers is also a result of parasympathetic stimulation so this cannot be a correct answer and the last option given is increase in strength of ventricular contraction now it is a result of sympathetic stimulation but not of parasympathetic stimulation so this is a correct answer to our question let's discuss our next question question number 164 the walls of capillaries are composed of and the options given are tunica externa, tunica media, tunica adventitia and tunica intima and the correct answer to this question is option number four tunica media because the wall of capillaries are composed of just one cell layer of simple squamous epithelium simple 
मुकामस एपिथीलियम और एंडोथीलियम दैट इज एपिथीलियम और एंडोथीलियम सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर फोर वेर एज ट्यूनिका एक्सटर्ना ट्यूनिका मीडिया एंड ट्यूनिका एडवेंटेशिया आर प्रेजेंट इन द वॉल्स ऑफ आर्टरीज एंड वेन सो इज के नॉट बी द करेक्ट आंसर द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर फोर लेट्स इसका सा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी फाइव अ स्पेशल न्यूरल सेंटर इन द ब्रेन विच कैन मॉडरेट कार्डियक फंक्शन थ्रू एयर एस इज प्रेजेंट इन एंड द ऑप्शन आर सेरिबेलम सेरिब्रम मेडुला ऑब्लॉन्गेटा एंड पॉन्स वेरोली एंड द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री मेडुला ऑब्लॉन्गेटा कैन मॉडरेट द कार्डियक फंक्शन थ्रू ए एन एस और ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम प्रोवाइड बोथ सिंपथेटिक एंड पैरासिपथेटिक सप्लाई टू द हार्ट ऑप्शन नंबर वन सेरिबेलम ऑप्शन नंबर टू सेरिब्रम एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर पॉन्स वेरोली आर इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री लेस इसका सा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन